In the Lesson 3.6 example, Can ADHD Be Linked to Mothers Who Smoke?, we'll review the concept of confounding. In a study of more than 4,700 children, researchers from Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center found that those children whose mothers smoked during pregnancy were more than twice as likely to develop ADHD as children whose mothers had not smoked. Based on this study, is it reasonable to conclude that a mother smoking during pregnancy causes an increase in the risk of ADHD in her children? Explain. In this section, we learn that confounding occurs when two variables are associated in such a way that their effects on a response variable cannot be distinguished from each other. Now, the easiest way to identify confounding in an observational study such as this is to think about other variables that are associated with the explanatory variable that might cause a change in the response. So in this particular study, there are many potential differences between the group of mothers who smoked during pregnancy and the group of mothers who didn't. So I would say no. Although smoking during pregnancy may increase the risk of ADHD in children, it's possible that the mothers who smoked during pregnancy were also more likely to have unhealthy diets. Perhaps it was the unhealthy diets that caused the increase in ADHD risk, not the smoking. Or perhaps there's some other variable associated with smoking that could cause an increase in the ADHD risk. For some additional practice with the idea of confounding, try exercise one.